1492, when Columbus came to the New World, the navigator of his ship, the Santa Maria, was a Muslim Moor, someone from Muslim Spain. And the captains of both the Nina and the Pinto were Muslim Moors. Now, wonder why Columbus would have had Muslim Moors, uh, you know, to, to, to do that. Well, there's one school of thought that says that people knew that route. And there are five Arabic texts that describe a visit to the New World uh, at least 500 years before Columbus. Three have ships starting from uh, Lisbon and Portugal, which in, five, in 1000 AD was part of the of the uh, Ubayat uh, Caliphate in Spain. And the two others came from the kingdom of Masa, Mansa Musa, who had the, the West African kingdom of Mali, which in those days, Mali's went all the way to the coast. Now, you know, the question happens, uh, asked, well, did they know it was there? Now, in all of these Arabic texts, it talks about leaving Portugal, West Africa, going into the sea of darkness where they found a mighty rushing river. I have a dear friend here in Virginia Beach who's a retired captain of the United States Navy. When I showed him those Arabic texts, he said, Sel, that is exactly what the Gulf Stream looks like in the Atlantic Ocean. Nobody could have written that unless they saw it. Um, and he said, furthermore, in those days, you could have pushed a boat out of the Straits of Gibraltar, the Gulf Stream current would have picked it up and carried it right to the Caribbean. So what that means is, is I mean that that they're Arabic texts, but that you know that there were there were visitors. I'm aware of Native American tribes on the East Coast in the Iroquois Federation that talk about the 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 visit of people who are darker than us. That's what. That's what they said. So who knows? I mean, who knows? But, but it is interesting to me that Columbus sought to get Muslim Moors uh, to do that. 